Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. You might be thinking, wow, he's wearing the same shirt and everything kind of looks the same. Yeah, I'm doing several cutting videos all on the same day. So this is technically the third cutting video, but I'm going to separate them out because I think it's a little more enjoyable to have shorter doses of, you know, cutting things open. So this is the third one and we'll see what we find this time. I hope you enjoy. We're gonna kick it off with some uh, yellow crandallite from the Clay Canyon area. So I used to go dig for this. Uh, it's been years though. Claim owners kind of not wanting people to go out much right now. So I haven't been out in a while, but this is a piece I hadn't gotten to. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, hey, we got some circles in it. So the little circles are actually wardite, which sometimes are nice and blue. But yeah, it's neat stuff. Next, we got this piece of wood. The other side fell apart, so we've kind of just got this side. Not very good colors, but you can still see the texture of the wood, so that's kind of nice. Okay, we got a geode that's broken already. You can see it looks really nice, probably more like a thunder egg. Oh, and it is. Yeah, that's a thunder egg right there. So yeah, at Dugway, sometimes you get them completely filled in, and you can get some thunder eggs. Here we have another little teeny geode. Oh, once again, it's kind of more of a thunder egg. That's nice. So this is another one of those pieces of wood from Nevada. The other side fractured and fell apart, but there you have it. Pretty nice. Here we've got a geode. It's already partially exposed there. Oh, it's got a nice little band of agate right there. And on the bottom. All right, here's some uh, mahogany obsidian that uh, comes from south of Delta. And let's see what we've got in it. Oh, <laughs> there's a little snowflake right in the middle. Wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. So yeah, your mahogany obsidian, but look at that. It's got a tiny snowflake in the middle. That's cool. Okay, here we got kind of a triple-like geode from Dugway. Oh, look at that pot. Oh, it's got red. Oh, that's nice. You don't get red very often at Topaz, at Dugway. Here, I'm saying Topaz Mountain. Yeah, Dugway geodes. Oh, look at that banding. That's a beautiful geode. Here's a kind of a flat geode. Yeah, looks like I got crushed. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. What? How'd that fit in there? Wow, that is stunning. Agate banding colors, just wow. Here we go, another nice geode. You're gonna see some nice agate banding. Should be good. Ooh, very nice. Oh, it's got some nice agate banding. You got a little bit of white here too, where the, uh, kind of like where the water table used to be when it was forming. Oh, that's beautiful. Got this. It kind of looks like a geode, but that to me kind of looks like calcite. Ooh. Yeah, I still think it's calcite. Oh, it's, it's a nice color. It's like a root beer color. Okay, we got another nice looking geode. It's already very nice on that side. Hopefully that continues further in. Oh, oh and yes, it does. Oh, look at those, those white dots. Oh, and just look at the patterns. Mm, beautiful stuff. You can get such nice stuff from Dugway. Okay, we got this geode that was already broken open, but there was enough on the back of it, thought maybe we'd cut into it. Okay, yeah, there's still some more stuff. Nice little zone up there. Still very dirty inside, so I'll have to clean that. But. So here we've got another geode that was already broken. But, eh, what's the harm? Let's see. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, we've got a little bit going on there. That's still very nice. Here we go, another good-looking geode, maybe. Well, from here, it looks like nice banded agate. So, oh, yes. Ooh, it continues in there. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at the banding on the rhyolite. That's beautiful. Okay, had this uh, interesting looking nodule. Looked really cool on this side. So I was like, ooh, I need to cut this. My saw isn't very big though, so it, 
I didn't do a very good job, but actually Tim didn't do a very good job. Oh wow, that is nice. Yeah, blame the guy with the cutting skills. So Tim just cut up this big geode right here and it turned out to be a nice thunder egg. So let's take a look. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Here's the center of it. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that thing. And then the end. So here I got a very thin, kind of like agate, I think we found in Nevada. Hey, it's got like these cool little crack things going on in the middle of it. It's kind of like a starfish with six legs. <laughs> here we have some more petrified wood this one's kind of a weird shape and that's pretty nice not bad you see some nice patterns in there you always wish the color was better so i had a nice little rock here of some like red jasper and stuff going through it most of it actually fell apart and shattered but got that piece that's kind of neat so I had this rock, Jasper, kind of had this interesting red with a little bit of green, so why not? Let's see. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So I got another one of those weird, like, Jasper agate things that I think came from Nevada. Okay, it's kind of nice. So this was a piece of wood that was actually broken here but I wanted to grind it down to see what it looked like. And look at that. Ah, oh, that's beautiful wood. Nice piece. I believe once again, this came from Nevada. And here's the final one. It was a piece of agate. It was actually bigger, but it broke right here. And, wow, sorry to end on that one. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little bit of neat there, but ah, that's not that good. And that's it for that cutting video. Definitely a little longer. We've got quite a few things we cut through this time. And as you can see, I'm very dirty. <laughs> it was a good time though. Found a lot of good stuff. There were some really good geodes and a bunch of other cool things. I hope you enjoyed that one and we'll see you on the next one. Remember, there's treasure everywhere.